Today is the final day I'm gonna try to teach the world's dumbest students, and if they don't get any smarter, I quit being a teacher forever. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Papers Grade, please. So I love this game, and you guys love this game, but like I said, if the students don't get any smarter, I have to quit this game. So we're gonna jump right in. My criteria for getting smarter is I need one round, I need all three students to get the right answer. If that happens, I'll keep being a teacher. If not, I give up on these dumb students. All right, here we go. Complete the word volcano. So far, so good. Yep. This girl is doing a fantastic job. You know what? Maybe we'll do it right away. A plus for you. All right, next one. Connect the drawing with the right names. Okay, we've got a fishing rod and we've got an island. Oh my gosh, guys, I have never gone three for three. These students are so dumb that they can't get the simplest questions right. We might actually do it. Come on, come on. Circle the noun. Very. Very is not a noun. Very is an adjective. At least I think it's an adjective. I don't know, but it's definitely not a noun. That's an F. All right, here we go. We're going to keep teaching. That's okay. This video, I, I just need it one time. Just one time, I need them to go three for three. So you know what? I'm actually going to help them out a little bit. I have been a terrible teacher. I mean, clearly, I have done the worst job ever. Maybe it's because my shirt doesn't fit my neck. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a tie that looks like I painted it on with red spray paint. I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but clearly, it's my fault. So I'm going to pick a different teacher and see if that makes a difference. I'm going to pick this girl over here on the left. Three days later. Okay, I just had to watch the world's longest advertisement, but I do finally have the new teacher. So if I go back and I go play, uh, no, no, I don't want to go. Oh, fine. You know what? I kind of want to see what this new teacher does in gym class. Maybe she's better than I was. Okay, so we've got a brand new teacher. Her shirt kind of blends in with the gym floor, but I promise she's not a ghost. Okay, here we go. So I need to bring her leg. Oh, man. Oh, oh, this looks really painful. Are we teaching them yoga or are we doing some strange dance moves? I'm never exactly sure what this is, but it, it just wants me to... Uh, okay, uh, uh, plie, plie. I think we're doing some strange form of uh, ballet, maybe. I think it's some form of dancing. Here we go. Let's move on to the actual class. Protect your egg, baby. Uh, this guy made it... He's got a crack down the middle of his egg, but he made it look like Batman, which I really appreciate the creativity, but no, that's an F. That, that's a big fat F. So once again, we didn't go three for three. This guy got it. And this girl, once again, has a uh, baby bird growing in her egg. Get out of here. I went one for three. Maybe this teacher is even worse than I was. How many chocolate chips are in this cookie? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, first kid's good. Although, if you look at his face, he does not look confident. Also, have you noticed all of the students blink at the exact same time? Are these kids robots? I mean, that is not normal. Honestly, it's kind of freaking me out right now how they're all doing that at the exact same time. But you know what? That's fine. All right. Th so, wait a second. Wait a second. If they're robots... They are the dumbest robots ever. I feel like a robot should... Uh, you know what? Let's move on. Yes, that is five chocolate chip cookies. Well done. Calculate this math question. And the girl wrote donut. While I love donuts, they're yummy, delicious, fluffy, sugary treats that you probably shouldn't eat too often. It's not the answer to the math question. Uh, you know what? At least she put a flower and a smiley face on there. At least she did that, but no, get out of here. So once again, we didn't go three for three. Complete with the appropriate number. Five, ten. So where did you get seven? Like, I, like I, I don't even understand your logic. Clearly, the numbers are going up. Clearly, they're going up in increments of five. Where did seven come to your mind? No, get out of here. That was a horrible round. Okay, I'm fairly certain that I was a better teacher than this lady, but because I could already tell this girl named the continent of Africa, Billy. Like, okay, you know what? Just get out of my face, Billy. Which one is bigger? Earth? Moon? Australia! Well, she actually got it right, considering she's got the monocle. Complete the drawing. North. Oh, man. I know I've had this one way back when, because I told you guys the story. When I was in elementary school, we learned north, east, south, and west by going, never eat shredded wheat. One of you guys told me it was never eat sour weenies, or maybe that was OB that told me. I don't know, but no, this isn't right. 
Get out of here. We didn't do it once again. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna go to the third and final teacher, this lady with the glasses. Maybe this is the best teacher out of all of them. She kind of looks like Baldy with blonde hair. I'm gonna name her Baldy with blonde hair. Yep, that's the creative name that I came up with. Now we're gonna go to the classroom. I'm gonna give them a couple little upgrades. We're gonna add a bookshelf. I don't know why that girl is standing up on the desk, but you know what? Maybe these kids were so bad at reading because there weren't books. Yes, I wanna buy that one. Then we're gonna add a plant. Maybe these kids were so bad at uh, science because they didn't have plants to learn from. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying my best here. We're going to put up the ABCs. Clearly, they didn't know how to spell. So maybe it's because the ABCs weren't there. And last but not least, oh, we've got more things. Well, we're just going to give them a, we're going to give them a map of the solar system. Yep, because clearly they didn't know their planets. OK, now we're going to go back and see if that helped. Maybe now they're going to be smarter. No, no, they don't get a school dance. They didn't earn a school dance. What causes erosion? Wind, moving water, all of the above. That's actually right. That is actually right because there is so such thing as wind erosion. And obviously there's so such thing as water erosion or else the Grand Canyon wouldn't exist. This is going to be science with the TFG. Did you know that the Grand Canyon was carved by the Colorado River, which flows in between the canyon? Fun facts of the day. So, yes, that is correct. Uh, rocks are made of minerals. <sighs> you had a 50-50 shot, man. You had a 50-50 shot. Get out of here. Yes, they're made of minerals. What landform has a peak? A plain, a valley, a mountain. That is correct. Man, if that one kid just got that rocks were made of minerals, we would have gone three for three. I'm getting very close. I am getting very close to retiring as a teacher. I will never come back to this game unless there's, like, actually a major update. Okay, it's volcano class. I never had this class in my school. This girl looks terrified right now. Looks absolutely terrified. And confetti pops out the top. Okay, all of these are just the same. You just got to put the colors in the right order. Complete the word, apple. Dude, I literally just put the alphabet up on the wall. I literally just gave you a little English injection into your brain, if you will. And now you're spelling apple with two L's. What is that? Apple. Apple. It sounds like this kid's from France. No, it's A-P-P-L-E. I said PP, -P, by the way. That's kind of funny. All right, let's move on. I didn't go three for three yet. Uh, form a letter with the following, or form a word with the following letters. See, clearly I can't read either. So I'm a terrible teacher. Uh, Takrao. I have never heard of a Takrao before. No, I, I don't think that's the right thing. What would it actually be? Uh, racket. Row. A, a, ooh, this one's actually kind of tough. Kraut. I don't think that's a word. Ta, 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 cars. Ta, I don't know what it is, but it's not takrao. Ta Let me know in the comments what word was that? What was it supposed to be? Circle the adjectives in the following phrase. The car is fast. That's actually right. So an adjective is basically a uh, description word, right? Like, I was running fast. I was, uh, I don't know, my, my hair was purple when I, when I dyed my hair purple. So purple would be the adjective. Okay, so that's actually correct. Ah, uh, here we go. It's re recess again. And again, these are the most combative students I've ever seen in my life. They're just fighting. They're just fight. You know what? Like I said last time, I'm just going to let them fight. I want to watch the madness unfold because these students are so bad at school that I, you know what? Maybe if they get punched in the head, they'll get smarter. Also, what kind of a slide is that in the background? You notice that little slide in the background? It looked like some sort of a, a, a strange uh, a plastic pretzel. I don't even know. Just no thanks. Just keep fighting. Look at these two guys on the bottom. Like I said last time, they're not even hitting each other. They're the worst fighters ever. All right, this kid's already off to the worst geography start ever. He called the United States Kuwait. No, that's wrong. What do you have to say, girl? What are you going to say? That's South Africa. She called it America. Okay, get out of my face. I might go 0 for 3. I might literally go 0 for 3. Okay, at least this kid got Mexico. All right, this next round is going to be the last one. If I can somehow, by a miracle, go 3 for 3, I will continue playing this game and continue being a teacher for the world's dumbest students. If they don't go for 3 for 3, I quit being a teacher forever. Here we go. Mark the one famous for his paintings. Beethoven, Van Gogh, Einstein. 
we're one for one. We are off to the greatest start ever. This green-headed kid just got the first one right. Correct. Moving on. Come on. Red is a cold color. I don't even... What? What is that? The colors aren't hot. I don't know. I have a, the, I have a yellow post-it note. It's not burning me. It's also not cold. It's room temperature. What does that mean? I guess red is that like... Uh, I feel like that's going to be wrong though. I feel like it's going to be wrong. I feel like red's probably a hot color, right? Just because I want them to be right, I'm going to give them an A+. Plus. Nope. That was wrong. Mark the percussion instrument bongo drums. We went two for three. I quit being a teacher. I will never come back to this game ever again. Hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.